Retrieval from floor of a patient after fall using a sling hoist. First, you need to assess the patient for injury, especially hip or spinal injury. If that's the case, we wouldn't use a sling hoist. We would use a hover mat, hover jack, or if we're in a residential facility, we'd ring an ambulance. Once we've established they're not injured, we would make them comfortable. They're not gonna fall any further. We've got time to go and get the equipment. Sling hoist and the sling, okay? Next, we're going to position the sling under the patient. So we'll do the pal roll. One, two, three, over we go. Position the sling under the patient, the U of the sling at the patient's sacrum. Okay, ready? One, two, three, back we come. Now the legs of the sling go between the patient's legs. And with a clip sling, they don't cross. So I'll get you to hold those. Okay. Bring in the machine. Now the best way, there are several different ways of bringing the machine in, but one of the best ways is spreading the legs as far as they can for a solid base bringing one leg of the machine under the knees of the patient and with the other leg watching it getting too close to the patient's head. That gets this yoke that the sling attaches to right over the patient. So a lower leg yoke to attach the sling. Now connect the top of the sling first, the clips, then the leg clips. Now one of us supports the patient's head, okay, and we get ready to come up. Ready? Now just stop at this point when the sling's taunt and recheck your clips. Now, while the patient's coming up, we watch their legs with the leg of the machine. The big thing about using a sling hoist is having brakes off. The machine needs to move itself and find its own equilibrium. All right. I wouldn't bring the legs in. Now, if we were out in a passage or a long way from a bedroom or a bed, we wouldn't wheel the patient in this machine. We'd bring in a wheelchair and lower the patient onto the wheelchair. Put the brakes on the wheelchair. If you go to the other knee. We can hold the knees and the straps at the back to position the patient back into the chair and watch the yoke as it comes down. Once it's down to the right level, we can remove the sling attachments. Now we can remove the hoist. We can leave the sling in place and wheel the patient to their bed. And if they need to be put on the bed, then we can reattach the sling and use the lifter to transfer them to the bed.